So if you're a girl, if you're a black girl like that, you know that, <laughs> you already know that it can be dead and depressing when your stylist cancels your appointment. It's even worse when you still think you're going to get your hair done and she stand you up. She bail out. You don't hear nothing from her. So here's what happened. guys it's your girl Ted K and I'm back with another video if you haven't already go ahead like comment share subscribe to this video hit that post notifications bell down below so you're notified whenever I post if you're new to my channel welcome you'll love it here subscribe subscribe I'm gonna keep popping up on your feet now that you click my video subscribe I've been uploading daily as story miss slash vlogmas um follow me on all my socials y'all follow me on all my socials follow me on all my socials I tend to forget to say that. Follow me on all my socials. It's Tati K. This is the name for everything. TikTok at it's Tati K. Instagram at it's Tati K. Uh, Facebook at it's Tati K. YouTube at it's Tati K. Follow it's Tati K. Alright? K. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, like I said, you'll love it here. Go ahead and subscribe. Whew. Now that's out the way. As you can see for the title down below, today's video is a story time. Um, not sure exactly what I'm going to title this, but this is a story time about the time I got stood up. And this isn't the first time. Mm. This is a, this ain't even the first time it's happened, but this is a story time I got stood up by a hairstylist. Got stood up, right? So if you're a girl, if you're a black girl like that, you know that... <laughs> You already know that it can be dead and depressing when your stylist cancels your appointment. It's even worse when you still think you're going to get your hair done. And she stand you up. She bail out. You don't hear nothing from her. So here's what happened. This story time takes place honestly not too, too long ago. But a little time ago, I want to say I was about... 1819 at the time and y'all um fun fact about me uh my mom's family is from south carolina so during the holidays we go to south carolina visit my mom's family or like if we have time like during the weekend we'll go visit our family so <laughs> my aunt always keeps her hair done always keeps her hair done and i'm just like i want to get my hair done who does your hair she's like oh this lady i met I don't know where she met. Let's say she met her at work. She's like, I met her at work. Uh, she was a customer. I was checking her out. I liked her hair. Asked her, you know, does she do hair? She said, yeah. Gave me her card. Said, you know, hit her up. And she'll do my hair. And she did her hair. And her hair came out good. So I'm like, that's what's up. Like, I want to get my hair done too. Like, I do. I was like, I want somebody to do my hair real, real, real good. Now, I want to say I've only had my hair done... Like, around this time, was, like, where I started wearing, like, weave around this time. Like, I know, late. But, like, I, I started wearing weave around this time, around 18, 19. And I only had my hair done once before. And the lady that did it before, like, no shade. Like, she did a good job, but it was, like, too much hair. It was heavy. And she braided so tight. I had to take it out. My scalp was hurting. It was hurting. It was hurting so bad. So bad. <laughs> so bad. It was like I said, it was a lot of hair, it was real heavy. But either way, my aunt's like, Yeah, um, I'll give you the girl's contact information. I'll let her know you you'll be hitting her up to get your hair done. I'm like, that's what's up. Now I know I couldn't get my hair done that weekend. So I'm like, alright, you know, it's cool. Next time I come down, I'll go ahead and get my hair done. I had I had to have had something coming up. Something coming up. I think the school year was about to start. And I want to get my hair done. So, no holiday was actually coming up around that time. But I was telling my mom, like, hey, um, let's go to South Carolina so I can go get my hair done. You know, yeah, we could just go down there, get my hair done, and come back. You know what I'm saying? And, like, while we're there, we could visit the family, whatever. So, that's why we had planned to leave earlier in the day. So, we had left, or, I'm 
skipping, I'm skipping, I'm skipping. Let me back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Right? So I hit the lady up. I'm like, hey, um, my name is Tati. I'm my aunt's name's niece. She was like, oh yeah, your aunt did tell me I would be hearing from you. She said, what's up? I said, I want to get my hair done. Um, this is the style I want. Do you have any availability? She's like, yeah, I'm available this weekend. Can y'all tell I'm still hurt by the situation? <laughs> She said, yes, I'm available this weekend. Mind you, I've already gone back. I'm at home. This is a couple weeks later. I hit this lady up. I'm back in Atlanta. And the late, like I said, the lady is located in South Carolina. Why you couldn't get nobody in the city, in your own city to do it? I haven't had luck. I really haven't. Not at this point. I had not, I had, not had any luck. So, I was like, well, I know she does good work. She seems pretty reliable. Like, my aunt stays getting her done by her. She seems trustworthy, you know? I was like, I'm willing to make the trip for a good job. She tells me, oh yeah, I got availability, availability this weekend. Can you make it? I was like, yeah, um, what's, what time should, can I be there? I said, mind you, I'm also coming from Atlanta. Um, what time can I be there? She was like, well, you can come around one. Like, say it was like, she said you can come one Saturday afternoon. 1 p.m. Saturday afternoon. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll tell my mom, like, hey, the lady says I could come 1 p.m. Saturday afternoon to go get my hair done. She's like, all right, cool. So weekend comes. I'm texting her throughout the week, mind you. I'm like, you know, I st I'm not still on for Saturday. Are you good? She's like, yeah, everything's cool. You know, just bring the hair. The price is like $100. You'll be good. I'm like, cool, look. Mind you, confirmed with the lady and everything. Made sure, like, I was texting her, like, the hairstyle price. I was like, 1 p.m., 1 p.m., we can still do 1 p.m. And I texted her, like, that on a Thursday. 1 p.m. is good. Even text her on that Friday. 1 p.m. is good. Making sure because, y'all, I've gotten played before. So I was like, 1 p.m. is good, right? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is good. Like, everything's checking out. She's like, we're good. I get excited. Weeks going by, I'm getting excited. I'm like, I'm going to have my hair done for school. Like, I'm getting excited. Saturday comes. I wake up at like 7 in the morning. 7 in the morning. I'm like, okay, I'm getting up at 7. Got ready by like no later than 8. Got ready no later than 8. Mind you, my appointment is at 1 p.m. And my trip to South Carolina to her area is about two and a half hours. So I'm like, I'm ready at 8. If we leave at 8, no later than 8.30, two and a half hours, okay, let's round it three. Never know. Traffic might hit. So, what's three plus eight? That's 11. I should go around 11 and have time to spare. So eager. Didn't even eat that morning. Didn't even eat that morning. I texted her that day. I said, hey, this is Tati. Um, price still the same. Yup. Got the hair. Yup. Um, I said 1 p.m. correct? Yep, be on your way. I'm like, cool. I said, um, you know, I'm gonna be there. So I'm driving, like, we're driving, we're driving, driving. I was the one driving, actually. I'm driving, I'm driving, driving. My mom was like, what time did she tell you to be there? I was like, at 1. So my mom was like, oh, we got some time. She wants to make a stop somewhere. I don't know what. But either way, it was a bit of a delay for us. I'm texting, I'm like, hey, I might be about 15 minutes late, but. Um, can I still come? She's like, yeah, yeah, you're good. Just come on, just come on. Mind you, she knew I was coming from a long way. She's like, I understand you're coming from a long way. Just come on, just come on. <sighs> zooming. I'm zooming. I'm zooming. Zooming to the lace house. Zooming to the lace house. I'm calling her. I'm like, hey, I'm, 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 keep, I'm giving her play by play. I'm giving her play by play. I, I'm going to send the girl my location. I'm like, hey, I'm 15 minutes away. Are you are you still doing my hair? She says, yes. I get to the house. I get to the house. You know, I'm looking around. I'm like, I don't see no cars here. I'm texting her. I'm like, is, is your, your address right? This is your address, correct? She's like, yeah, uh, went to the store real quick. I'll be right back. I said, okay. You know, no biggie. I'm like, cool. You know, whatever. 10 minutes go by, 15 minutes go by, 20 minutes go by, 30 minutes go by. I'm like, give her about an hour. 40, 50, 60. 
an hour has went by now and I'm just like hey we're still at your house are you coming um well I'm here granted I understand I was 15 minutes late but it was going to take her at least three to four hours maybe even five because I have a lot of hair to do my hair because with my aunt she says it takes about two three hours to do her hair so it's going to take me about four to five to do mine <sighs> I'm sitting here perplexed confused baffled before I'm like okay an hour's gone by it don't take nobody that long to go to the store and you said you was down the street I'm calling voicemail I'm texting no reply I'm confused so I keep calling, 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 calling. After all, it's going straight to voicemail. And I'm just like... You have reached the voicemail box of... Let me see if anyone's inside. So I get out of the car. Go to the door. I'm knocking. My mom's in the car. She's like... Why is she not replying? Like, I was like, I, I don't... I can't tell you why. She's like, we're only 15 minutes. You told her we'd be 15 minutes late. I was like, yeah, I, I told her. I told her. And she said everything was cool. Come on. She told us to come on. I'm not going to do a no reply. I was like, bro. So I called my aunt. I'm like, hey, aunt, can you call the stylist? Like, I'm t calling her, texting her. She's not replying. So my aunt calls her. No response either. I was like, you know what? Let's give it about another hour. Because, y'all, I'm giving it another hour at this point because I've drove. I've driven. Two and, a half, two and a half hours to get to this appointment. Like, it ain't no, well, I'm going to just go home, forget it, I'm going to find somebody. No, I drove a long way to get here. After a while, time's going by 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 Another hour that went bad. We've been sitting in this woman's driver for about two hours. My mom's like, let's just go. Let's just go. Because we get irritated. We're like, let's just go. Let's go. We'll try to find somebody else. Don't worry about it. We'll just find somebody else. I was like, I'm pissed off. I'm irritated. I'm just like, why isn't she? I'm like, I'm here. Are you almost here? Like, she's not replying no more. It's like my number was blocked. Like, she stopped. She just stopped replying. Or she turned her phone off. Something. Get to my other aunt's house. You know, we just sitting there chilling out because my I had an aunt that lived not too far from her. So, I'm just like thinking, all right, well, if we chill out here and, like, say she does hit me up, then I could be there in about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Chilling at my aunt's house. Mind you, we got there like 1.15 that day. 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I'm all like, after chilling over my other aunt's house, she's like, let's just go. Because like, we didn't pack nothing. We thought we was going to come down here and get your hair done. And even if you was 15 minutes late, you let the lady know. She told you to come on. And... Mind you, this ain't no professional, th nothing. It's not like she has a shop or anything. She didn't have a website. You didn't have to book. You didn't have to uh, uh, put down a, a, there was no booking fee. Nothing. This is just a lady doing hair out of her house. And I'm not trying to downplay, but downplay people that do that. But like when you want booking fees and uh, 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 you, you want to have cancellation, all that type of stuff. I feel like you need to be having a shop to do all that. Because if I'm doing it the professional way, you want me to book and let you do my hair all the professional way, be professional about it. Like, yeah, you can be professional at your house, that's cool, but have a shop. Work towards getting the shop. Because I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm already not too fond of really liking people do my hair at their house, even though I've had some good styles done at the house, but I, I honestly prefer a shop. So, and especially you're going to be charging me shop prices. Now, granted, she won't charge me no shop price. That's why I wasn't too, too pressed about this whole situation, you know? But I was still mad. My mom's like, it's nine. She got to work the next day. She's like, let's just go. I pack up my oh, pack up my little bag. Like, I had, like, my little purse or whatever. I had been posting on Snapchat that day. I might insert a picture of, like, what I, my hair from that day. Because I had my hair blew out and everything for her. All she had to do was the braiding. Nothing else. We're driving back. Driving back. Driving back. My aunt, she calls. And my other aunt that recommended me to the lady. She calls my mom. She's like, oh, did Tati get her hair done? And my mom was like, no, we went to the lady's house. We've been sitting in South Carolina all day. And she has not text, call, reply, nothing. She did, she has not reached out to us 
said anything about she ain't said nothing about nothing. And well, it's like that's weird because I called her and texted too, and she didn't reply either. Time goes on, y'all. Time goes on. I don't went back home. I didn't try to do my own hair, like for the school year. I had tried to do my own hair. I put my hair in like some jumbo box braids and. Correction, I actually ended up being able to get a friend to do it, and yeah, she did really good. I was happy. Called it a day. A few weeks go by, y'all. My aunt calls my mom, the one that recommended us to the stylist in the first place. She had got an appointment with the lady. She said, you know, the lady was kind of acting funny. Like, she wasn't really trying to, you know, get in contact. Or, like, you know, let my, get my, like, she wasn't trying to really do my aunt's hair for real. And she's been going to her all the time. So, she's like, it was kind of difficult to get an appointment with her. But, like, she finally said yes or whatever. Or, you know, she was like, you know, she got availability and she could do my hair on whatever day. She said she went over to the ladies' house. They got to talking, you know, chit-chatting, catching up, whatever. My aunt tells my mom that she asked the lady, the stylist. You know, what happened uh, a couple weeks ago, my niece had came down and they said, you know, you kept confirming that they could, that she could get her hair done. And like, she said you weren't home, you never showed her anything. The stylist said to my aunt, Oh, oh she did? Oh, well, she had called me, and I had called you on that same day to see, like, you know, let you know that she was there, too, or try to get in contact with you, and I, I couldn't. She was like, oh, oh, see, what happened was my children had a birthday party to go to, and, you know, I, I wanted to take them, and they wanted to go, so I took them to the birthday party. Uh, it's, my, mind you, her kids are, like, in preschool, so... What little kid has a birthday party all the way from 1 to 9? I'm sure the party ended up at like maybe 5 or 6 at some point. And on top of that, why would you say okay to doing somebody's hair on a day? You know you your kid's got a birthday party to go to. Why didn't you just tell me the next day or some, some day after, like another weekend? Why would you plan something or plan to do somebody's hair on a day you know you weren't available? And then why didn't you tell me an earlier time or something? I confirmed you. And then, and then you did reply to me on my way down. And I let you know when I was in the car. I called you and told you I was on my way. So you lied right there. You knew I was on my way. I told you what was up. I've been texting you all these days. I did say, yeah, I was 15 minutes late. But y'all, when I told, let, her, let you know I was going to be 15 minutes late. And I, mind you, fun fact, I only ended up being 10 minutes late. Even then, you still weren't at the house. And you could have told me, like, when I was letting you know I was going to be late. Oh, I ain't going to be able to do it no more. And how did you think you was going to get my hair done so quick that you would actually have time to, if there, if there was a birthday party, actually have time to go to the birthday party, party and make it on time? Because clearly the party had to start around 1 or 2. You thought you was going to get my hair done in about 30 minutes to an hour. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Not on my hair. Uh-uh. I got a lot of hair. So... Well, you was planning on playing me the whole time. Why didn't you just say no? And on top of that, I don't even know today what the truth is, where she really went, what really happened. I just feel like it was a lie. I felt like I got played and I got stood up and I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry because, like, that was so depressing. And I had to go to school. And, y'all, I don't know how to do hair. But I ain't gonna lie, I did pretty good. Like, I tried, you know. Like I said, my friend ended up doing my hair, and here's a little picture of it, video picture, yeah. I looked okay. But y'all, leave down the conversation. Have you ever gotten stood up by a stylist? And if so, and if so, what did you end up doing with your hair? Did you do it yourself, or did you find somebody else? And then y'all, I had to really think about it. Because when I was over my cousin's house, like my other aunt's house, they were like, all them stylists in Atlanta, why did, why did you come here? I mean, like I said, I, have, I haven't had too much great of luck with the people here, but, I mean, you know, that back then. But, and like I said, I, I didn't trust everybody with my hair either. But, um, I just feel like the stylists here were kind of unreliable. But either way, 
Either way, I would never travel that far for a stylist again. Unless I got it like that. Even then, even then, I wouldn't even really do that. Nah. And on top of that, I would have to know I'm going to get my hair done. Not get stood up. Not get canceled on. Nothing. But like I said, if y'all have any similar stories, leave them down in the comment section down below. I would love to hear them. Y'all would love to hear them. Because <laughs> I've seen some other hair stories. I'm like, oh, that's... that's that's depressing. <laughs> like, that's the worst thing that can happen. Your stylist cancel on you or stand you up. But either way, you guys, that's all I have for y'all today. If you haven't already, go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe to this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that post notifications bell down below so you're notified whenever I post. Follow me on all of my socials. And I can't wait to see y'all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.